Hey everyone, I'm Kate McCarthy with Glow Minerals and I'm going to show you how to do a classic smoky eye. Your first step is to grab some perfecting powder and your fan brush. I tend to be a little messy when I do a smoky eye, so to protect from fallout, I'm just gonna load some perfecting powder right underneath my eyes. You want there to be an actual layer, so you wanna be able to see the powder. So you just wanna get some right underneath. That way when you go to wipe away the fallout, it is adhered to the powder instead of your skin, so it's not gonna smear. Your next step is going to be your lid primer. This is gonna go all over the lid. I'm gonna grab my liner brow brush and my ebony cream eyeliner. So with the cream eyeliner, you do not need to be neat. We're just gonna slap this on. Then I'm gonna grab the smoky eye kit. We're gonna get the darkest color from the kit. You wanna make sure that you do one eye at a time with this. I'm using my crease brush. And we're just gonna go smoke out that cream liner. That's gonna give a lot of depth to the smoky eye and a lot of staying power. So I blended that dark color all the way up to the crease. Now we'll move on to the second eye and do the same thing. Next step, we're gonna grab the second darkest color from the kit and my eye blender brush. And we're just gonna go blend into the crease. Notice how long I'm blending on each eye. If you're unsure of how long you should be blending, count to about 25. That's gonna give you a really, really nice, smooth, smoky eye without there being steps of color. So your next step is going to be the shimmer silver color and your eye blender brush. And this is gonna go into the crease. And I'm also gonna blend that down into the actual lid, kind of right above the lash line. Next step, you're gonna grab your eye base brush and the lightest color in the kit. We're gonna use this to highlight the brow bone. I also like to grab a little bit of that same brow highlight color and go right here into the inner corner of the eye. Next step, you're gonna grab that liner brow brush again and the darkest color in the smoky eye kit and a little bit more of that cream eyeliner. And that's just gonna go on the lower lash line. Again, you do not need to be neat with this. Now with my smudge brush, I'm gonna take that dark color and smoke that right into the lower lash line. You wanna make sure that you connect your lower lash line to your upper lash line. Just kinda right into a point. For a little bit more definition and drama, I'm gonna grab my liner brow brush and my ebony liner, and I'm going to line my waterline. This makes the smoky eye really, really dramatic. So just right into that waterline. This is also called tight lining.
Now the biggest step is mascara. I'm gonna use the water resistant. Mascara can make a smoky eye really, really dramatic, so you wanna make sure to really load up those lashes. You'll notice that I'm getting the top and bottom part of my lash and that I'm really pushing into the root and zigzagging it out. That's gonna give the lash a nice natural curl. I always like to let the first coat dry just a little bit so it's tacky. That way the second coat really has something to grab onto. All right, now we're gonna grab our fan brush again. And we're just gonna flick off that powder. Last and final step, I'm gonna get my dual foundation camouflage brush and a little under eye concealer. I'm just gonna put the brush right in the middle of the two colors, pull that down, and just go right underneath the eye. So see how I'm shaping the outside of the smoky eye with the brush? That way you can round it out to the shape of your actual eye. And that is a classic smoky eye.